This part consists of a half pipe with a protrusion in the middle. The top surface of the protrusion is concentric with the half pipe and the whole body is completely shelled out. In this tutorial, I will be mainly talking about how to create this protrusion and achieve the smooth transition in between the half pipe and the protrusion. I have prepared beforehand a half pipe extrusion. Going back to the finished model, you can see that the top part of the protrusion and the base of the protrusion are an exact offset from each other. So I have created a couple of offset sketches on top of the half pipe. First, we need to create split lines on the half pipe using these sketches. Go to the Surface tab, Modify, Split Face. For faces to split, select the curved face of the half pipe. For splitting tool, select the inner sketch. For split type, select split with surface. For extend splitting tool, in this case, it does not really matter whether this is checked or not. Once you hit OK, you can see that the surface has been split according to the sketch line. We will repeat this operation with the outer sketch line. At this point, we want to create an offset face from this highlighter face. This will become the top face of the protrusion. Go to Create, Offset. If Chain Selection is checked, make sure to uncheck that first as we only want to select one face. Select the appropriate face and key in a distance. For this operation, we want to create a new body. The next step will be to remove these two faces. Before we do that, go over to the Bodies folder in the browser and you can see that we have a single solid body and a single surface body. We will see how this changes when we remove faces. Make sure that you are in the Surface tab, Control select these two faces and hit the Delete key. You can see that once the surfaces are removed, the solid body becomes a surface body with a hollow interior. We will be using a loft to create the transition between the half pipe and the floating surface. Go to Create, Loft. Make sure chain selection is checked so that we can select the whole loop. Select the two appropriate loops. In our case, we are building hard edges, so we do not need any form of continuity, so leave it as connected. Hit OK to exit. We now have a completely closed surface body, but we still need to merge all these surface bodies together and create a solid. Go to Stitch and select all three surface bodies. For operation, we are going to create a new body. Hit OK. When I turn on the section analysis, you can see that the solid body has been automatically created for us. Before we do the shelling, let's add in the fillets. The order of operations is important here as we want the shell to produce a consistent wall thickness throughout the part. Start the fillet tool and control select the two edges. In this case, the constant radius option does not really give us a consistent look throughout the whole loop. So let's change the radius type to chord length. Go to the solid tab, modify and select shell. Select the back face of the body and type in the required wall thickness. 